here boys and girls and welcome to another session of vocabulary. I am Miss Amy. Today for vocabulary, we're going to be doing something interesting. We're going to be matching some words with their pictures. All those who like pictures. Now pictures are very fun, but pictures can tell us a lot of things things. We can get a lot of information by just looking at a picture. So first of all, let's take a look here. What we're going to do is that we're going to match these wonderful, wonderful pictures to their correct name. So I want you to help me today. Are you ready? Okay, so let's go. Let's call all the words before we start to match. We have fire, truck. I want you to call the words with me and then we're going to spell them. Ready? Fire, truck. F-I-R-E-T-R-U-C-K. Fire, truck. Next, motor, bike. Motor bike. M O T O R B I K E. We have crane. C R A N E. Crane. Helicopter. H E L I C O P T E R. Helicopter. Now we have police car. P O L I C E C A R police car. Last word here is hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. So H O T A I R B A L L O O N. Hot air balloon. Now that we know how to spell the words and call the words, we're going to match them to their picture. So, the first picture we have is a helicopter. So, we match the helicopter to the word that spells H-E-L-I-C-O-P-T-E-R. Very good. Let's take a look at the next picture. We have a hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Can you find the word hot air balloon? It is at the bottom, the last word. So we match the hot air balloon to the last word. Next picture we have, take a look. That is a police car. Police car. Now, where is the word police car? It is the second to last word. P O L I C E C A R. Police car. So, police car, we match it. Now, next picture. And this is a motor bike. Motor bike. So the word motor bike is the second word. Now, the next picture is a fire truck. Very good. This is a fire truck. And the word fire truck is at the top. It's the very, very first word. Fire truck. And the last picture is a crane. The last picture is a crane. Can you find the word crane on the list? The word crane is spelled C-R-A-N-E. Crane. So we match the word crane to the last picture. Okay, boys and girls, so we learned some new words today. We learned about the fire truck, 
crane and a hot air balloon okay boys and girls so i have another set of pictures for us now remember i told you a picture gives us a lot of information all right so what we're going to do is that we're going to look at the picture and then we're going to match it to the sentence now we have a sentence not just one word so let us take a look at the first picture. We can see that the boy is drinking something. So which sentence do you think matches best with this picture? Is it I write in my notebook? No, that picture is not telling us or showing us anything like that. Is it saying, open your book please? No. Let's look at the third sentence. He drinks milk. Do you think that's the sentence? Yes. So we can see the boy drinking something. So we can say he drinks milk. Let us look at picture number two. What can we see in picture number two? We can see someone at the door and the door is open. So, the sentence that would best describe or matches this picture will be, Come in, please. If someone asks you to come in, therefore you have to open the door. So, let us go to our third picture. In this picture, we can see a book and we can see a hand and a pen or pencil. So the sentence that would best describe this picture will be, I write in my notebook. The very first sentence there. I write in my notebook. Now here we have another picture. And this is another picture of a book. Now in this picture, we can see that the book is slightly open. So which sentence do you think would go best with this picture? It will be, I write in my notebook. No, we already matched that one. It will be, open your book, please. Now, if we look carefully at the picture, we can see that the book is opening. So, we can say, open your book, please. Now, let us take a look at the next picture. In this picture, we can see someone sitting in the chair and they are looking at the television. So, do you think I should match this picture to the sentence i cook food no this picture has nothing to do with food this picture is saying i watch tv in the evening i watch tv in the evening now our last picture has a pot and a hand and it looks like if it's turning, so it will be, I cook food. Very good. So, I cook food will be matched to the last picture. So, boys and girls, pictures are very important. They may be a picture, but pictures can tell us a thousand words. It can give us a lot of information. So boys and girls, today we learned how to match pictures to sentences and words. We also learned that pictures are very important. We can use pictures to communicate with each other because pictures can tell us a lot of things. So until next time, boys and girls, this is Miss Amy saying goodbye, everyone.